it's talking about people who like, who are good people who maybe, you know, tweeted something stupid in their teens or twenties and somebody went back 15 years <laughs> to do something about it when 15 years ago it was perfectly okay to say, you know, it's, it, there's a lot of that. And there's a lot of kind of just like, you know, this kind of infringement on free speech, you know, and again, like, listen, hate speech isn't free speech. Hate speech is hate speech. You know what I mean? Like it's knowing the differences between all these things, but yeah, the, the, when we rolled it out, it was supposed to be kind of mysterious and like, you know, dark and, and it still is. I mean, the records, it's a heavy record, man. Well, are you worried that it's, it's almost impossible, you know, if you're going to write lyrics to a song and, and have some, some grit and grind to it and not just be bubble gum, um, to talk about what is today. And that would kind of fall under the umbrella of being, um, uh, a political shinedown's never been known as a political band, but if you look at the different albums from, you know, the very beginning, you know, a, a lot of them were detailing more or less where Brent's head was and so on and so mm -hmm. forth. Um, and now you get into a world where everybody's got a, a you know a, a clear way of thinking, and you like you said you have families and everything's on the up and up. So you talk about what is today. Are you worried that it's going to divide your audience? I don't. I mean, that's definitely a question that came up between the four of us. I don't think so because I think that we paint. You know, we live in a society where everything's painted as political, right? It doesn't matter what your opinion is. Everything's political. This isn't. I don't think the record's political. I think it's social. I think we talk about social issues, but we're not talking about politics as much as we might be talking about politicians. You know what I mean? Like, and it's not even, it's really not even that. It's more a, a, a commentary on the state of the world. You know, I don't, we're never going to tell anybody who to vote for. I don't, you know, listen, I disagree politically with Eddie Vedder on probably 85% of the things he says. I'm not going to stop listening to Pearl Jam. Right. You know what I mean? Like I, we just live in this, there's no gray area in society anymore. You, you're this or you're this. And if you're this, then you disagree with that. And it doesn't, you know, I'm an adult with a brain and I, I can disagree with someone and still like them. I mean, we, we've polarized society so much now to where it's like, if you disagree with someone, it's such a hard line. Right. Right. And I, I don't agree with that. Like I, I've got friends who, Again, I, you know, think completely different than me and I'm still friends with them. And honestly, I learn things from them and hopefully they learn things from me about how I view stuff. But, you know, I don't, I don't know if it's going to divide people. I think, I think if there was a whole, an overall undertone of the record, it's like, we're over all the bullshit. Yeah. And yeah. It, and that's on both sides. It doesn't matter what you agree with. So I think, I don't know if it'll divide people as much as it, hopefully it makes people kind of go, yeah, I'm with these guys on what they're saying because, you know, there's nothing on the record that's taking a side. You know, we're, we're not that band. I'm not going to tell anybody who to, who to vote for. I'm never going to endorse a political. I was talking about that on our podcast yesterday too. Like celebrities who endorse, like I get it in the seventies and eighties, but like to this day and age when everyone is so corrupt or something's going to come out about like to be a celebrity and go, I endorse this can like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever, like, it's so stupid. 